We got Charlie Day outside the studio. By the way, David Spade was really cool. First yeah. time we've had him on the show. Absolutely. Hope man. he comes back. That was uh, really good. Really, really funny. Good. Uh, yeah, hangout kind of guy. Charlie like Day. Ah, Charlie. How are you? Seat right there. We're actually on the air. We just. Thank you, Pleasure you know. nice meeting you. We just do a come right in, sit down on the air kind That's of thing. That's great. Yeah. yeah. People know it's real. I don't like that whole, you know, they come in, sit down during a commercial break, and then you're like, <sighs> <laughs> just <laughs> stare at each other. Yeah, yeah, you like say things that you, you're like, oh, you should have said that on the air. They yeah. tell you the best stories it. before the, they, they come back. Like, what'd you do? Oh, man, I'm tired. Just shit on a hooker. Oh, and then you're back on the air. Fuck that. It frees up. This way you can come in frozen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, Idris Elba's in this movie? Yeah. Fuck, man. I'm obsessed with meeting him. I've not met him yet. No. Why? I, just, I love The Wire so much. Oh, sorry. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's the only reason. Yeah, I was really like depressed when I found out he was English. Just because it's I was like, so odd. Was right? that strange? Yeah, like, oh, he's, he's such a better actor than I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could have. I can't go the other way. I'm not going to go to England and butcher their. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It is humiliating when British actors come. Like I didn't know Gary Oldman was British until I heard him interviewed. Oh, well, he's just yeah. He's crazy good. Or uh, Idris and who else? Uh, McNulty so on the wire. Uh, yeah, yeah, all those guys. It's, you find out yeah. they're all British. Yeah. And then, Everyone in Batman. Fucking. Uh, who bail and, and, and Christian Bale? Bale, yeah. there's another one. Yeah, fuck. Just like he yeah. does amazing uh, American accent. Yeah, yeah. are we yeah. that easy? Yeah, I guess so. I guess if so. you're a great actor, maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it's, it's easy. I think Americans they just, just have a more intense like acting discipline over there. It's you know like learn every accent and right. Uh, and uh, yeah. you know where we're just like, hey, you good at fart jokes? Great. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. Welcome to Hollywood. Everyone in America does like their Beatles version of an English accent. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just terrible. Uh, wow, Pacific Rim. Have you seen it? No, no, not yet. You're gonna love it. I'm waiting. It looks insane. I know it's my job to come in here and say you're gonna love it, and I kind of wish I wasn't in the movie and I'd seen it so I could tell people and they'd actually believe me. But uh, <laughs> I, I like. I love the movie. Yeah. What do you Unless like about you, it? If you like, if you hate fun, then you might not like the movie. Yeah. If you're like, you know, like I only like movies like Sophie's Choice. Well, oh I mean, boy. You know, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks huge, like like a huge movie. That's that's yeah. the thing about this movie. It's it's. Gigantic. Yeah, I would recommend seeing it in IMAX, which is where I saw it for Absolutely. the first time, and and then like my mind exploded. What's it about? Basically, it's about uh, giant monsters coming out of the ocean and the robots that we've built to punch them right in the face. <laughs> uh, um, you know, it's like a classic, almost Godzilla esque. Uh, they're called kaiju. The monsters are kaiju. It's like from a, oh, so it is like Sophie's Choice. Okay, very much like Sophie's <laughs> Choice. You know, like do I keep the baby? Which child do I keep? And which one do I punch in the face? Because <laughs> I think it's a lizard from space. <laughs> but uh, look, it's just like a fun summer blockbuster. The movie's awesome. Oh, so you're happy with it? It's got, when you watch something, or do, do you like critique yourself? Like, ah, oh, fuck, I hate this. Or are you kind of comfortable and enjoy watching yourself work? You know what? I've been very lucky to have done so few things that I haven't done one yet that I've been <laughs> like, you know, like Horrible Bosses was great. So I, watching that, I was like, oh, this is yeah. this is fun. This is good. I love Sunny. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. And uh, but earlier on, when I started out, you know, I, it was a lot of like, oh, I hate this crap. And uh, I'm, I'm reading that. Wait, wait, can we ask him sure. for one? Yeah. One that well, I hated? Yeah, one example. Of, we'd love hearing those. Oh, man. Let, let me... Maybe uh, it was a commercial or... Yeah, uh, yeah. Or yeah. I did tons of shitty commercials. <laughs> uh, there's, like, one on, going around the internet right now that I talked about on a talk show, which is Thomas's Bagel commercials. Really bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, what I love it? digging those up, man. Oh, man, You're like, yeah. Hey, look at the guy. He looked like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, they always get, like, if, you, if you're a young actor and you need to eat, yeah, uh, yeah. They, they always got that on you. you know? yeah. <laughs> it's like you got to do a couple, a couple bad gigs. Um, man, what did I do? Like I was like, the mailroom kid and like the Mary Tyler Moore special. Like just like a lot of uh, oh, schlocky little one-liners. Right. That's what I was going to ask you about. Did you work? Did, were you? Did you have scenes with uh, her, or Valerie Harper? Or? Yeah. You oh. know, it was this funny audition where, uh, like, she looks at herself in the mirror, and I had one line. It was like looking fine. And I sort of said it sarcastically in my audition, like, hey, you don't have to keep checking yourself out. Like, you look okay. And then I get down to set, and they're like, all right, this is Mary Tyler Moore. 
you can't be sarcastic. You really have to compliment her that she looks very good. Oh, God. So, like, looking fine turned into, like, looking fine. <laughs> a very different thing than what I'd expected. Oh, uh, no. You, know. you want the fun Mary Richards, but you get the one from fucking uh, from uh, ordinary, ordinary, ordinary people. people. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. ice cream. Brown socks to the son's funeral. <laughs> a little bit. She's very sweet to me, though. It was very yeah. nice. Like, for a first gig. And, uh, you know, made me feel like I uh, belonged there. How was Valerie Harper? Didn't, she, she's didn't still alive, her, right? Didn't see her. Oh. Didn't return any of my phone calls. Uh, <laughs> damn it. None of my fan letters. Uh, of course, I wasn't really a fan. I got to be honest. It's yeah. like that's all before my time. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. I was kind of there, being like, I don't give a shit about these people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a job. <laughs> yeah, this is a game. It's my they probably sensed the it door. too. Like every young actor is probably so in awe of them, and that you just didn't give a fuck about them. <laughs> probably. Yeah, I think there's like a like a like a mid seventies, eighties cutoff for, yeah, uh, yeah. for their f- major fan base. <laughs> yeah. You know? What did you grow up like? enjoying and watching on TV? Let's see. I mean, I, I'm, I, you know, I was, uh, I'm born 76, but uh, probably didn't really pay attention to things till 85. So, yeah. you know, like, the, you know, E.T. and, uh, and. Back uh, to the Future. Yeah, Back to the Future, yeah. Star Wars. That's, that's my whole thing. Yeah. What about, the, like, TV shows? Because they were pretty cheesy. You know what I loved was Night Court. Then. Yeah, Did you guys yeah. Watch Night oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. This is my favorite. So, I don't know because it took place at night. It was like <laughs> I, I felt like you know, like after when I was supposed to go to sleep, and I'm like, oh, this is what adults are doing at night. This is very <laughs> going to court. They're all going to court. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's sitting on whoopee cushions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the judge is always a card, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's doing magic tricks uh, up there. And never, now, Marky, never seen that. Marky Post is just getting fucking beatings and everything she does in uh, her oh, lifetime really? movies. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. all she does is play like I, the abused woman I, now. And uh, I know. She came in and auditioned for us for a part in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. And, you know, it's one of those things where you're like, oh, my God, that's that's Marky Post. You know, we want to cast her because, you know, we all love Night Court. But, like, it, like she was, like, very wrong for the role. Oh, right. So, yeah. like, uh, it's really tough, like, uh, to, to see those sort of actors come through and... Was she bad? Well, I can't say she's bad if she's wrong. Sometimes you she remember, wasn't she bad. Wrong. It was yeah. just like uh, she wasn't right. For the yeah, part, that this woman was supposed to be really. Uh, I guess I, we didn't picture her as as beat up as apparently she's getting. Cause right. She looked very. <laughs> she looked very good. She looked very good. We found looking fine. We got a. We found looking fine. Yeah, we sure. got it. We got it. Get out of here. Is this on the radio? It's quick. Sure. It's Mary Tyler oh, Moore in the office. There's Charlie Day. Excuse Where? me. I'm, I'm looking uh, for Jonas Seemeyer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wow. hit right up those stairs up oh, there. Oh, I forgot I had another line. Oh, yeah, look at that, another yeah, line. Two lines. Looking fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Looking fine. I'm like checking her out. Really yeah, you know, what the, that is awkward. You gave her a yeah, wink, too, Charlie. I gave her a wink. And now yeah. she's all happy. She's got a little pep in her step. I don't know. Yeah. Thanks to you. That seemed a little weird maternalistic I know. Thing. Weird. Like mother It's a little son, weird. Yeah, you were a little like, too young to be. But maybe I'm going to bang her. I don't right, know right. I don't know what's going on in that show. <laughs> <laughs> Make Mary eat your ass in the mailroom. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Oh, and I would have done it. I needed, you know, I needed work. I needed money. I would, uh, I would like, look, oh it's in the script. It's, uh, <laughs> it's on NBC. It's a big part. Uh, that's we, a great first role, though, man. Uh, like, you see what Mary Tyler Moore, even if it's just that, it's fucking great. Uh, it was a good gig, yeah. Pretty yeah. impressive. We, 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 the, big time. Mm. <laughs> with uh, Sonny in Philadelphia, were you um, were you surprised with how much freedom the, That's you get the, for con- uh, content? No, not really, because that was really? sort of the deal at F- about doing it at FX, mm-hmm. which was like, here's a place where they'll pay you nothing, but they'll let you do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, uh, right? And uh, just to get the chance to. It's a great show. Oh, Holy, thanks, man. Oh my yeah. God, it's one of the best. Yeah, we're doing we're season nine right I now. Know, Jesus. Jesus, yeah, amazing. How, how is it working with DeVito? He's great. Yeah, he's obviously. Great. Like, I mean, uh, and I can't, uh, I can barely keep up with the guy. He's a maniac. You know? Yeah. He can, uh, he likes his fun and he can party and uh, he, uh, he never sleeps and, and, uh, but he's a, he's a really good dude. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it really is, uh, there's quite a difference watching a show where you get some real language, 
you know, real situation. It takes you out of it when you know they'd have said something a little more harsh and, and they pull back on network TV like that. I don't know how those shows can compete in this day and age. Exactly. Where you can find anything you want sort of tailor-made to you. Yep. And uh, and you're right. Like uh, It's like, how do you pull your punches? It takes you right out of it when it's like, nah, you wouldn't have backed off like that or yeah. said something rude. I like the believable dialogue in a sitcom, though, like off the funny look and then the crowd explodes with laughter. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's me every time. That's you. Oh, every time. Uh, sure. Hey, look, you're in the majority, I think. Yeah, so don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Uh, oh, it's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. All I would do if I was if working with Danny DeVito is do fucking cuckoo's nest lines. That's all I would do is talk about. Which is odd because most people would think taxi. Yeah. I, I love yeah. taxi too. It's a fucking masterpiece. But cuckoo's nest. Is Man, what is. lines would you do? Just uh, I bet a nickel. I bet a dime. Yeah. That's all I'd say. I yeah. bet he'd love that. Yeah. Oh, he would never get old. Constantly. So you do his lines. Constantly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be, yeah only his. Uh, yeah, yeah, good. But there's someone that's worked forever. Yeah. Like know, he's like, never every year you could look at his body of work. Yeah. Uh, over over the and the years. guy that I'm sure everyone was like you you want to be an actor you right know, yeah like, exactly uh, all right you're two feet tall and uh, yeah a little pudgy a little yeah. abrasive a little lacking <laughs> lacking <laughs> lacking the hair he was great in ruthless people you ever see ruthless people oh, yeah. I dare you to kill her when that, his fucking wife like Bette Midler I think it was was yeah. kidnapped and War of the Roses too yeah, like, he directed War of the yeah, Roses too that's the thing amazing like, he's a smart guy really. Yeah, yeah. Look at us blowing smoke up his ass right Yeah. Here. Well, it's nice. This is encouraging. He's do not wanna, like a typical do, leading man. Do you want to crap all over him? Or, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's just shit on yeah, someone. Yeah. We need <laughs> to like, right. make Time ourselves feel better. Let's get to it. Yeah. He really <laughs> phoned it in. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been a much better penguin. <laughs> were, you, uh, were you acting in front of a green screen a lot? Um, no, that was the awesome thing about this movie. How, how did they pull that? They actually built giant uh, they built, robots. They, yeah. well, no, they didn't build giant robots. <laughs> but like they're so giant that you're actually not in the scenes with them. Right. Yeah. Uh, but any th any scene that I was in, he built like Guillermo is this crazy director and he's uh, like brilliant guy. He did Pan's Labyrinth and like won that you know insane. copious awards and like. So he built these like gigantic sets. Things were always on fire. You know, there were like chickens and dogs running through the streets, and uh, <laughs> you know things were caving in. It was always raining. Um, you know, things would explode. There were practical props and uh, little like creatures that were supposed to be crawling on the big creatures that he built, like tiny little actual wow. creatures. And all right, so you're not staring at a tennis ball hanging from a no, wire? No, never. Oh, it wow. was never like okay. it was pretty pretty great. And then you see the movie, and then all the CGI, which they really you know, they they did a great job with it when you see it. Combined with those giant sets, and it's the most massive thing. I've is ever is the life. CGI Pretty as good cool. as uh, Sharknado? Sharknado <laughs> on sci-fi? Tonight? It's per no. No, Shark but it's close. Nado. It's on Sharknado, explain this to me. It's oh, uh, a sci-fi oh, original. Um, you know how they've been pumping out these movies yeah. where they get people from, like, the 80s or 90s few stars and throw them in these movies it's uh here's the here's the plot uh storms in the pacific have uh whipped up uh water spouts and sucked up a bunch of sharks a lot and then they, of when sharks. they go over land they fling uh, thousands of sharks out at people and they, they they proceed to you know bite people and and uh, very similar plots. Yes, similar, exactly, uh, exactly. All right, all right. And I think, uh, uh, a the special bit more effects money are terrific. Into this one, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> so ridiculous. Tara <laughs> Reid's in it. Tara Reid. Mary so. Tyler Moore, Valerie Harper. <laughs> <laughs> good. Tara Reid. Yep, she's still working. And the yeah, father from um, Home Alone. Home Alone. <laughs> What's now? Who is, who is that? Exactly. I, I just know him as the father from Home Alone. We don't know his name. You want to see the trailer? Real oh, fast? it's fantastic! Yeah, 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 Can we yeah. turn you on Come to something on. today, please? This is great. Hurricane David is poised to be the first hurricane. Storm. That's what's driven them all up north. I've never seen so many. There he is. Up north. I'm long guy. Look at this. It's really even raining. It's flooding. Sarah. Here. And not the plumbing. The ocean. Oh. You need to go home. I'm not going anywhere. I'm from 90210. Storm's coming. It's coming fast. Shark right through the window. Sharks are falling on people. Yeah. Watch out! Look out! The sharks climbing the rope. I'm not kidding. Yeah. This is actually based on a true story. Guys, I think I'm in here promoting the wrong movie. 
I think this is what America <laughs> needs. <You> got, <laughs> exactly, right? Oh, yeah, you got to see the Ferris wheel. Oh, the Ferris wheel. Rolling after people. people. Look at that special effects there, Charlie Day. Can you compete with that? Um, right. Can you compete with that shit? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And the, but the amazing thing is there were there was no CGI there. They actually killed fifteen hundred sharks. <laughs> that's, 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 that's tough to do in this day and age. Yeah. Yeah. Damn liberals. Um, you know what's funny? That that dad from Home Alone. I used to wait tables here in New York when I was starting out. You know, like the, that uh, before I was getting those sweet Mary, Mary Tyler Moore gigs. Yeah. Uh, and I used to wait on that guy. Really? Yeah, totally. At the Cornelia Street Cafe, like down in the in the uh, in Greenwich Village. And he was okay. He was not a dick. I, oh, okay. I, I, okay. But uh, who's on top and who's on bottom? My God, I was just think. thinking that. It's like, you know, how about right? That? Who's what's in going Pacific on now? Rim and who's in Sharknado? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. What, what, what's going to happen is that I'm going to be in Sharknado 5 <laughs> one day. You know what I mean? And some kid's going to be young in here. Some young like, yeah. yeah, one of these interns in the hallway. We check this out. Remember when that guy was in Pacific yes. Rim? <laughs> <laughs> Sharknado 5. Sharknado 5, man. <laughs> The heretic. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> talking about Sharknado. It's on tonight. Uh, so we watch great. that tonight, then we go and uh, check out Pacific Rim. Are you yes. guys out now, or do you come out tomorrow? We come out tonight. Oh, you do tonight. Yeah. What time? Uh, I think like 7. Everyone's seven. Doing, that. doing that. Everyone's doing right. that. Yeah, they say, fuck the Fridays. Let's start this yeah. whole thing on People Thursday. can't wait. Why wait? Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I think uh, once people are excited, let them in. Let them see it. <laughs> i like to see it in IMAX if it's playing in IMAX. Definitely. You have to see it in IMAX. There are movies that you just have to see in IMAX, and, and that's one of them. Because it's, it, it's so big, you just want that. Immersion feeling like you're uh, you're in it. Yeah, watching it made me feel like when I saw like say Jurassic Park for the first time. Oh, man, yeah. And I wish I, I don't think IMAXs were even around. No, but, uh, you know, can you imagine? But that I think I went back like two nights in a row to see Jurassic Park like yeah. three times in a row. I was just blown away. Dumb I saw the my... 3D version recently. Um, oh, they, really? they re-released it in 3D. Because uh, there was somebody who I was kind of hoping to put my penis in, and that's what she wanted to see. Ooh. And um, uh, I agreed. Yeah. It sounds like a great idea. Mm. And it just isn't made for 3D. It's okay. It was better done than it probably, I thought it would be. It's not the sexiest movie in the world. No, like, not at all. No. girl, too. No. no. Yeah. yeah. No. You know, you got the... Yeah. Jeff Goldblum yeah, people thing. Getting eaten yeah. by Velociraptors. Yeah, yeah, yeah getting eaten. Although the thing sneezes on them, I'm like, huh? You know. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you want a little of this? <laughs> but did it work? No. Oh. No. Oh, boy. No. What yeah. happened? Mm. Did See you blow it? it? No. It no. wasn't meant to be. Mm. It's it's a wasn't shame. attracted to me. That's sad. Why would she be? Oh, Jimmy. But uh, anyway, I saw that and it was kind of, I wouldn't recommend. That was sad, man. <laughs> wasn't it just sad? <laughs> Don't say why would she be. Okay. Oh, we hear that every day. Yeah, Tell us right. that's I'm like fine. nothing. I'm he's, okay. he's good. Look at him. Yeah. So girls good apparently shape. don't want to go to coffee with him or something. He just wants to take him to lunch and they won't even do that. Yeah, just a nice girl to lunch. That's it. That's, it. that's all you want. That's all I want. Little lunch. Little hey, lunch. man. Exactly. Take her to Pacific Rim. That will get yeah, you laid. Yes, <laughs> That will there get you go. laid. It probably would because a girl enjoys a big movie like that. And, and, I, and I would fucking name drop. It's like it's, when the, you, you'll do something. I like, got oh, funny when he told me when he did that. Like, yeah, well, you mm. talk to him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, you can say that we're, we're best friends. Yeah, Besties. that'll do nothing for you. No, <laughs> I'm a terrible name dropper anyway. I'm really bad yeah. at it. Yeah, it, girls never care if I drop a name. They just don't give a fuck. Mm. Like, can you introduce me to them? No. Well, nothing. <laughs> Who's uh, any any uh, you know hot uh, what they call chicks in this movie? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have. Are you into Asian women? Uh, sure. Why? Why not? Uh, you know, um, Ayapasha Lee. There's an actress named Rinko who's uh, the lead actress. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, look at that. Wow. And she wow. Gets look some at that. butt, and she's uh, beautiful. Sexy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I remember seeing some like kind of training to get inside the thing and. Yeah. And she looked pretty good doing that. Those poor sons of bitches in those suits like <laughs> got beat to hell making yeah. this movie. Yeah, because they're actually, like I said, the guy built these giant props. So he built the inside of the helmet of the robot that they pilot. And he was like constantly shaking them around like they were on like a, like an elliptical machine for 16 hours a if day. If they're like, getting punched in the face, it's yeah, got to react that, like you're getting that, exactly knocked right. for a loop. Yeah. So they beat the hell out of them for months. And months. Me, I was like having bagels, eating coffee. These guys, like, <laughs> I had to worry about your abdominal muscles who'd you play uh, i play uh i play a, a scientist in this movie and it's like uh 
sort of a cocky, nerdy guy, is, is Dr. Newton Geisler, and I'm like obsessed with the monsters, and I have sort of theories about how to stop them, and no one will listen to me, and so I eventually say, uh, fuck everybody. I can swear. Oh, know, sure. I, I say, like, uh, fuck everybody. I'm, I'm taking to the streets to, to, to sort of solve this problem on my own, and in, in this particular movie, uh, you know, a guy with the brains can actually be a bit of a hero, too. Right. Mm. A, bit a, a bit of a quirky guy. Doesn't always have to be the most handsome man in the room. Mm. Or so, the strongest, or, or the, the strongest, guy in the, the suit, and, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, sure. Yeah, the, skinny you know, tie. Good skin, it's none of that. Got the skinny tie working for you. I got you. a skinny tie, yeah. Nice. He wants to be a rock star. Of course, he's, he's sort of a geek. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but but he gets his little rock star moment in the movie, which is good. <laughs> and uh, uh, who does uh, Idris Elba play? Idris Elba plays uh, Stacker Pentecost, which is a great name, and he's like, he uh, used to be one of the pilots of these these robots, and back when we used to be winning the war, and now we're losing the war, and uh, and um, he's sort of like the last man standing. He's sort of like the general of the army, the okay. guy who's who uh, we're. It, it's the army is gone. We're more of a resistance. It's like a, mm. a ragtag group of people coming together to try to. Try to save the day. And he's, he's, is he play a British guy or an American? He plays a Brit. Okay. He, he does his accent. You're a little, yeah, I see the no, I don't mind that. <laughs> uh, like, oh, no, I saw damn. Luther. I actually liked him speaking a British accent. Yeah. It just took a little bit of getting used he to He plays Stringer Bell. He lived through the shooting, it turns out, and now he's yeah. doing this. He's like, man, I'm going to stop these robots, and then I'm, <laughs> I'm going I'm to fucking clean up Baltimore. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to say it. It looks really good. It's, uh, it's going to yeah, do well. A lot of action. Mm, I like it's fun, it. man. Yeah. I, I guarantee if you enjoy a fun movie, yeah. <laughs> you will yeah, enjoy yeah, yeah. the movie. Because yeah, you know what? It doesn't... It does, it's not so overly serious, mm -hmm. which is kind of refreshing in these big sort of action movies, which uh, Atlantic Rim. I see you giggling over here. What's going on, Sam? Because the makers of uh, Sharknado <laughs> yeah. made a movie called Atlantic Rim. They Are you kidding? Right on it. They just took the How entire... How fast yeah. did they do that? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Is it out yet? I don't know. What? But nobody uh, should see it because they'll be of filled not. up with Pacific Rim. Well, no, it's like on. you get your Philip Pacific Rim, and then you get Atlantic Rim, right? Boy, they really are. Enough. Yeah. They are terrible people over oh, there. That's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> human beings. Yeah, at least they have integrity. That's I important. bet the CGI wow. is really good. Yeah. Man. Well, whichever one of them gets a sequel, that's the one I'll be calling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's I'm sorry. feeling Atlantic Rim is going to get the sequel. We shot in Toronto. Oh, okay. Starting with the father from. Uh, Home Alone. That would be great. Both of these are in the same movie. Too? You'd be like, I used to wait on your table. That son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that son of a bitch. It is amazing how you remember everybody who was nice to you and everybody who was shitty to you. Oh, coming yeah. Up. You never forget, man. Yeah. The ones who treated you fucking horrible. No, I'm always nice to someone in a restaurant. And, uh, yeah. you know, they're handling your food. Yeah. They yeah. can spit on it. How stupid could you be? Right? You know? Yeah, you want to think it, it wouldn't happen, but it hey, happens. Uh, you best, yeah. It happens. Anybody stiff you? Oh yeah. Are you celebrity stuff you? Mm. No, it's usually just like little oh, old, old, little old ladies that would stuff me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like, I mean, I don't have the money. Did you ever follow somebody out and go, "Is there a problem with the service?" Yes. And what, that's because that's a really cool thing a server will do. They'll go, like, you know, "It's basically going, what to happen, motherfucker? Where's my money?" Yeah. And what was their response? The service was terrible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, probably, they can always pull that yeah, out of yeah, their yeah. 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 Looking back, they probably had a good point, but uh, it seemed very unjustified at the time. <laughs> they actually told you the service was bad. All right, that's fair. You know what it was? I remember I, I remember the, the time they they had asked. There was like construction on the street, and they were sitting out on the street. So they'd asked to be sat in this like little table way in this private room on the inside. It was like completely other side of the restaurant. So I was running around all day and, and serving people and, and I would have to go into this little back room and check on them. And I guess they, they felt as though they weren't uh, you know, checked on enough. But that, like, not only did oh, I move yeah. them to like, a separate area and then they didn't tip me. And then I, I told uh, them not to come back to the restaurant. But I also knew that I was quitting really soon. So yeah. I could say something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the worst thing a waiter can do is not come back and check when you like you're just sitting there for long. You're doing true. the head crane thing. Uh, like that's worse than because the food. I mean, any dummy can know like they're not cooking the stuff; they're bringing it yeah. to you. So as long as they're prompt with it. But man, when you're waiting there and you're like, my fucking drink has been sitting here empty. And you're looking around. You're trying to like anybody that walks by a waiter. You just want to. 
So maybe they'll tell them. Yeah, let me just say, I was the absolute worst waiter. <laughs> Were you terrible? <laughs> just a total airhead. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, uh, oh, you had the chicken? No, oh, you had the fish, right. Um, uh, let me run back to the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> you know, you was... didn't try to be one of those guys that never wrote anything down, were you? No. Uh, I hate those no, guys. No, I, hate I would them. slowly Too much write stress. everything down. Yeah. And, uh, I'm not impressed. Still get it wrong. Yeah, like, stop it trying down. to be off book. Right. Just fucking put my thing. <laughs> You're not right impressing anyone. Table at eight, and they're just like, and what will you have? And they and, nod. And they're just nodding. I'm like, he's got to fuck this I up. think hit a microphone. Yeah. Oh, well, I think I hit a microphone. You think? It's just a show. Because they give you that nod, yeah, like, yeah, I got a super memory, do you? Then why are you waiting tables? Well, sometimes I think the restaurant <laughs> wants them to do that, right? Like, it's like, yeah, it's, yeah, they yeah. don't want to, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I'm fine with, like, please, by all means, write it down. Sure. Yeah, because I'm just, now I'm all stressed out. Like, did he hear what I said? Because I like it. If you say it and you see him right, you know, you're like, okay, he got that. They one. get it wrong when they write it down. Mm-hmm. So you're like, oh, fuck, they're going to get it wrong. Bastards. Or whatever. What, like, what does this have to do with Pacific Rim? No, they're just chatting. I know. No, and this is just interesting <laughs> thing for people to like sink their teeth into. Yeah, this is you know the you, TMZ stuff. Did you start filming Always Sunny season nine? Yeah, we filmed the whole season and wow. uh, we're we're editing it together right now. What kind of topics are you guys uh, hitting on this year? We got a bunch of good ones. Uh, a personal favorite of mine is we're all sitting around in the bar in one episode and we're realizing that all these other bars have won all these awards and that we've been around a really long time and not won any awards, <laughs> which is sort of a, a wink wink uh, uh, to the show. Yeah. Right. And uh, we sort of, we, you know, we go to other bars to figure out what they do. Some are like really bright, bright and loud with the, you know, uh, loud colors and uh, ring a bell, tell people when to drink, i.e. laugh. Um, mm. uh, you know, others are like dark and moody and there's a lot of like uh, sex, but not, uh, but it's like period costume sex, so it's not like. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. Uh, and then we, we, you know, we try to uh, we try to adopt their techniques to our bar for like this uh, showcase, and uh, and of course, you know, we screw it all up, and we realize that the we're we're probably to blame. Um, and then let's see, we got we got. Uh, we got one that was written by the guys who write Game of Thrones, oh, wow. which is wow. a weird sort of thing where they were just huge argument. fans of the show wow. and they wanted to write an episode for us. And we're like, well, uh, keep the dragons out of it. And, yeah. uh, and How odd cool. is that? You should have kept the dragons in. What the hell? I know. I, well, Come we on. don't have a big cool. budget over there at FX. Yeah. So, uh, Wait, why, didn't, why haven't you guys won any awards? That sounds crazy. What, what do you think it is? Um, I mean, I don't know. It's a good question. I think uh, ridiculous. We've always just sort of been a little under that radar, you know. That it's also, I don't know. It's 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 a very sort of young kind of collegey show, and that's not necessarily usually what what mm. wins awards. It's well written. I think so. It's well written. I I look. I I think Hilarious. it's crazy. But um, what are you gonna do, man? How do you manage to stay like undergroundish for nine years? For nine years. Know. By that point, you know there should be lunch boxes and yeah, all okay. kinds of other stuff, you know, out there. I don't there. know. No, we're not usually in those like <laughs> comedy issues of like GQ or Variety. Yeah. It's like, uh, but in a way, That's I, think, cool. I think yeah. the audience likes that. Yeah. I think they don't feel. You like sold sh- out, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, been, uh, like for I better or worse, guys. we've retained our street cred. <laughs> right. Right. You know? I don't know if it's a good thing or. Do, bad are you on Twitter? I'm not on Twitter. Yeah, no. I was on it for a little bit. I'm like, I can't. I like it's <laughs> yeah. taking over my life. It's like people are being able to write me directly. Right. Uh, we I, talk about that all the time. It's like in the old days, you it's couldn't insanity. just you couldn't you didn't have immediate access to Burt Lancaster. I know. Versus, it, 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 you had to go through like 50 people, and he. He probably wouldn't even see it. What, got, you, what, you, you can't what, take it? You can't take was it? how much sort of anti-Semitic stuff I got. Like, you damn Jews, stupid Jews taking over Hollywood. And, like, I'm, I, I'm, I was I'm joking. Ir- I'm Irish Catholic. <laughs> and I'm Irish Catholic. <laughs> 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 I'm not even like, <laughs> you know, like, I'm Italian Irish <laughs> Catholic. I, like, but, uh, oh, God so, uh, I was like, you know, you're as, uh, uh, as, 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 as uh, bigoted as you are misinformed. <laughs> it is funny how dumb people are. They're fucking morons. Do you, do you? A lot of angry people out there. Uh, aside from Twitter, then, are there any internet outlets you go to that people bash you or stuff, and how do you deal with it? You know, it's I don't I just sort of ignore anything like that. Yeah. What's actually more 
weird and what I sort of had to get away from was how much like people love you. <laughs> like, a, like, oh yeah, that's yeah, weird yeah, too. That weird you too, know, like right. that can get to your head, and then you're like, well, I'm the greatest person alive because yeah, people are tweeting it to me. Like, <laughs> you know, or like a one, lot of like, I, two, I like, will you marry me and have my baby? And then you're like, well, no, I'm married and I have another baby, so like, <laughs> so you I can't know, do I, that. yeah, but but <laughs> but you can not jerk me off in the car. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a really cute picture, and I don't want to be thinking about it. So, um, sure, what, what, what is this story? Oh. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, like, that's an option. If you don't want to marry the girl because you're already married, you can just let her jerk you off. <laughs> I don't know that that is an option. Has, I don't think that's true. Uh, has a whole nother I don't think that's, that's in the bylaw. Yeah. Yeah. This bylaw. might be why you're single. This yeah. is why you're yeah. having a lady problem. I am truly not a catch. Uh, <laughs> Charlie really has to go. Yes. They gave us a few extra minutes. Are out of here? We're just getting no, it, it's, up. It's, it's your side, man. It's, it's your guys. damn people, man. It's not us. Yeah, they're ruthless. You're busy. You're very busy guy. I got to go try to sell this movie all over town. I want people to see it. Yeah. Pacific Rim tonight at 7 p.m., which is yeah. tomorrow, whenever you want to see it. And it is an IMAX, which is exactly how I'm going to see it here in New York. Right? Yeah. And yeah. we're fans of you, and, uh, and we've been trying to get you on for a long time. So I'm Nobody glad, told me this. I'm glad it finally happened. I figured. Well, I'm happy to be here, guys. So yeah. please come fun. back and see us, all right? Yeah. All right. Very be cool. right back with very uh, funny Charlie James Day. Cromwell. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. The OPN Show on, 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 on Sirius XM.